Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Data Studio and today I'm gonna share with you a free title from our number lower third pack. So let's check it out. All right, so you can download this title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. Uh, here, you have the license, the instructions, you have the TRFX file, and you have the fonts. Please make sure to install all the fonts that are included with your download. So just select all the fonts and then double click on it to start the installation. The title will not work properly if you don't have the font installed. So make sure to install that, that's very important. And then you can just go ahead and double click on the TRFX file and click install. And now the title is installed on your computer. Now in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit page. To find the title, you go over to effect. Here you can go down to title and you can make a search sample and you will get uh, here all the sample that you may already have from us, plus the number lower third sample right here. Now I'm just gonna take it, drag it directly here in the timeline. Now if we play it, you can see we have the animation in. By default, there is no animation out, you know, we just leave it like that. But here, if you look over in your inspector, you can see that you can select your animation out. You can select from zoom in, zoom out, rise up, sink down, pan left, pan right, and fade out. So you can just choose the one that you want. We're gonna choose the fade out, for example, right here. And now we have our animation in and the animation out as well. Now you can extend your title. It will uh, keep the animation in and the animation out. You can stretch it as much as you want. And so now let's check here in the inspector what you can modify for the design. So here first we have size and position. That's where you can uh, change the size and the position of your title. Uh, so you can move it around. In the case of lower third, uh, you probably will not want to move the position, but here you can do that. You can uh, just make it a bit smaller. You can change the angle as well. Uh, if you want to uh, reset any parameter, just double click on the parameter and it will just reset to default. Now we have numbers. So here that's where you can change the number. So we can change it for uh, or nine, for example, you can change the size, you can change the position as well. You can change the font, the color. Uh, so if we want to change it here, for example, for blue, we could do that right here. And then we can change the tracking, which is basically the space that you're gonna have between the two number. You can then change the corner radius here of the background of the number. So here we have rounded corner, but you can uh, have some more uh, straight angle. Right now I'm just gonna reset it. Uh, you can change also the color. Uh, you can switch it for gradient if that's something that you're into. Now heading text here, uh, that's where you're gonna change the heading. So infographics here, we could switch it for uh, video editor and then you can change the font if you want. You can change the color, size, tracking, line spacing, corner, etc., etc. You can also here change the color of the background. Right now we have a horizontal uh, gradient that is purple and black, but you could just change it for any color that you like. Then here you have description text, which is the description text right here. Uh, we do tool for DaVinci Resolve, for example. And uh, we can change as well the font, the color, size, tracking, and line spacing. And there is one last parameter that you can modify here is the background, which is very useful if you want to create more separation between your subject and your title. So here I'm just gonna move the title to uh, the track above. And I'm gonna bring something right below as an example here, just zooming in a little bit. And as you can see, in that case, I might not be needed to play with the background because we already have shadow helping to uh, create separation between uh, the background and the foreground. But in any case, you have here the possibility in background to raise the opacity to bring uh, a solid between the footage and the title. You can adjust also uh, the width and the height. So here, for example, we could reduce the height and uh, make it so it affects only a part of our image. So then we can adjust maybe the position down there and we could play with the soft edge here to make it a bit softer. So here, as you can see, we affected only the bottom of the image to help create more contrast between uh, the footage and the title once again. There is a lot of things that you can do with it. You can change the corner radius, you can change the colors. Uh, so I'll let you play around with that. 
Now, if that wasn't enough for you here in the edit page, you can go over to Fusion and make more modification right into Fusion. Just double click here on that group and uh, you have access to the entire node structure. You can then just select the parameter that you want to modify. Uh, for example, here, if you don't want to have the drop shadows, you can make modification uh, right there to uh, the drop shadow and reduce it, remove it, displace it, etc., etc. Uh, you have access to all those parameters right there in Fusion as well as the animation. So here, if you go over to Spline, uh, you can just start playing with the animation uh, right there and the keyframing if there is stuff that you want to readjust. So this title is from our number lower third pack that is available on our website. Uh, I hope you would find it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.